Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tammy Anderson Art. So today, I am going to tell you, or teach you, all about Liquitex pouring mediums, the different versions of them, and how they are commonly used in acrylic pouring. So stay tuned. That's next. Liquitex professional pouring mediums. I like to use a few of them as an addition to my Floetrol mix. Some people use only these and most definitely you can do that. That's what they're made for, for paint pouring. So they have a few different versions. Now these are just pouring mediums. They also sell things like gloss mediums, varnishes, things like that. Now, typically we don't use them in acrylic pouring. However, there is one called Liquitex Gloss Medium Varnish that has been used in acrylic pouring in place of a pouring medium and it works just fine. That's it right there. So, you can actually use this as part of your pouring medium recipe. You can use it just on its own. You can use this as a varnish. I've used it as a glue. It dries really well for a glue when doing art journaling, things like that, uh, mixed media. So they have a bunch of different products, paste, everything. But we're focusing on the ones that are primarily used for acrylic pouring. So... What we have is a matte and a gloss pouring medium here. So the difference between the two is this is not going to dry shiny and this one will. Now, a lot of times what I like to do is I'll take my paints that are mixed with just American Floetrol and I will take some of the gloss pouring medium and put just a little squirt in all of my colors and what that does is it allows my paints to dry with some shine because Floetrol dulls them and it will also react with the Floetrol and create some special effects in your painting. The matte will also create some special effects when mixed with Floetrol but it's not going to make your paintings dry shiny. However, if you're a resin person like me, it doesn't matter if they dry shiny because you're going to resin the painting. So then we move on to iridescent medium. What is iridescent medium? So let me show you an example of what iridescent medium does. We have this turquoise blue paint. Okay. This is mixed with American Floetrol. It's just a, a typical tube paint, nothing special. If I add iridescent medium into it, what it's going to do is turn that color into a color that has a um, pearl effect to it. Like a metallic, how it shimmers. That's what this is going to do for these paints. So let me put the light on so you can see now. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's pretty bright in here. But here's what I can do for you. I can just float some of this on the top so that you can see. That's what it adds to your paint a shimmer while also being a pouring medium for you if you want. Now that would be kind of expensive to use just this. I would suggest mixing your paints with some Floetrol and then just add a little bit of that in there. But that's what that one does. Okay. So it's a pouring medium that has iridescent in it. 
same as this, these two here, but gives you shimmer. Then you have the new silver and gold metallic medium that they're selling. So these are pretty cool. They can be used on their own as a silver or gold color in your painting. So you could literally squish some into a cup, thin it with a little bit of Floetrol or water, whatever you're using, and then pour. Or you can add this to a color. Let's say you have blue and you wanna change it to a uh, blue gold, like shifty kind of color. You can add some of this or even the silver. They're, they're pretty uh, new on the market. They do dry with gloss. And it says here, gives a metallic gold effect when mixed with color, adds surface highlights when used on its own, extends color, uh, the directions say for acrylic colors and mediums only, use it on its own or mixed with color. You can mix any ratio of paint to medium to create desired metallic effect. Works best when used with transparent colors, that's important, compatible with all Liquitex products. So transparent colors, the reason why is if you use this with an opaque color, you're not gonna see it. If you use a transparent color that you can see through before you even add this, once you add this, you're gonna see that gold shimmering through or silver. So that's what those different products are. My go-to 99% of the time when I do use a pouring medium is always going to be the gloss, a dash of it, and my American Floetrol. That, that's what I like the best. But, you know, if you want to use just pouring medium to do your pours, obviously you can. I've gone ahead and put down my white paint already on the canvas. This is a 12 by 16. Look at these fun things. We are going to have some fun today with these things. <laughs> I have these in my Amazon shop. <clears throat> I bought them. There's nine different swipers here. I think they were like 20 bucks. So, I mean, lots of options, different widths of the teeth. And yeah, we're definitely going to have some fun, especially with this guy here. So for the background, I already put my white paint down. I want to use some of this oyster color from Modern Masters, and I want to marble the background with it. So let me take the palette knife with the biggest gaps and kind of just a little bit. I want to tilt it the rest of the way. You can also do that with a blow dryer if you want to. Beautiful. Has an oyster effect to it. It's very, very pretty. Next, I'm going to layer some paints in my cup. So I'm going to put a little black, a little blue, or turquoise, I should say. A little bit of the blue-black. Some of the gold and then some white okay and then I'll continue to add the colors until I have a full cup and what I do is usually I will um, 
put white in like every third or fourth color. Okay, so now I'm going to do a, I guess maybe a, a, I don't know, a pour out, ring pour, a combination of things. And I think what I'm going to do is start with a ring pour and just plop it out there. Just like so. Then I'm going to take my palette knife, a different one, and kind of, I don't know, break it up a bit. So we tried that one. Now we will try the little froggy feet. Those look like they are fun. Oh, I like those. Those can be fun. Those are all kinds of fun. <laughs> Here, let's try a different one. I have a tendency to get hung up on things. Let's go this way. All right. I don't want to make it too streaky with the teeth. It's a pretty color palette on the background. I will say that. Okay, let's tilt it a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way. Some pretty cells developing. Let's go this way. Let's go back. Go off a bit. Oh, I like that. I really do like that. Go nice and slow. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, so for the sake of time, I'm going to speed this up three times faster for you. Uh, just keep your eye on the composition. Watch where things are going. If there's an area you like, you know, just keep watching it and take your time with it. You'll eventually get there. It's a nice effects in here. You can see the cells are starting to pop up. Really nice movement. I think I'm going to take my palette knife 
and pull this along here. Let's see. For that, I'm going to use this one. Just to kind of get it to blend in with the rest of the painting. Ah, that, these work good for little touch-ups like that. I like that. I'm going to leave it alone. Just one more small area here. that alrighty that's it I want to thank you for spending these 16 minutes with me I hope you learned something of value if you did and you're not subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the like button I have many in-depth tutorials on not only acrylic pouring but resin art alcohol inks and mixed media so if you like that kind of thing hit that subscribe and come on back real soon also in the comments i want to hear what your type of a color palette is do you like these more earthy tones or do you like colors like me that are so bright they burn the retinas right out of your eyeballs let me know in the comments i would love to read what you have to say from this point forward, I demand you have an awesome day. And until the next time, happy pouring.